Hey guys, it's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel and here are five cool websites you should know. So let's get started. Now, before we begin, I gotta be honest, this is more of a filler episode compared to my normal content. That's because sometimes when I don't have enough time to finish up whatever I'm trying to record, I don't want to miss an upload date, so I'm deciding to upload this type of video where it's more like a filler. Now, I've been on the internet for quite some time now, and I do have a list of websites that I kind of bookmark all the time. It's just stuff that I randomly run through or I see and I think it's interesting, so I just bookmark them. So if you guys have any cool websites you want me to check out, hit it down in the comments below or hit me up on Discord. Now, in this video, it's just more of a generic thing. I don't have any categories on what I'm showing you guys. I might do that in the future because I have a lot of stuff like for pen testing or maybe for food or for computer builds or stuff like that. So depending on how this video does, I might start categorizing those and set them up as filler episodes, again, for times when I don't have something that I could upload as my normal content. Anyway, let's begin. The first website I'm going to show you guys is called hotpot.ai. This is a really cool website where you can actually take older photos and convert them back to brand new ones and also colorize them. It's all very easy to use. And yeah, let me show you guys. So to pop over here, you can find the older image and then you can upload it. So let's do that. Let's do restore old images. I guess that's a good finding thing. Okay, there's like tutorials there. So I'm just going to look up some old photos and let's do say this one okay what i'm going to do is open up flame shot and i will just take a screenshot grab this area and let's save it to disk i'll just save it somewhere here and let's head back over to our pictures and upload that picture was it in pictures yeah there you go so let's see open restore give it a couple of seconds and there we have it that actually came out really good so I'm gonna hit download so it's gonna be called hot pot top PNG okay and if you scroll down a little bit or you go back to the main menu you could actually go to colorize upload and let's check this out uh, I did do this with another photo I just randomly picked another photo now and let's see that came out really good almost similar to this what we see but this came out really, really nice. And that's it. This is a website that I normally use if I was to restore an older photo for someone. And it's quite easy. And which leads us to also a second thing. If you want to be able to do all the other tools, sometimes you might have to pay just to get like maybe the background removed or resized. And you do need to account for that. Now, I do use another thing called tempmail.org. This actually creates a fake email for you or a temporary or burner email, as you can say, that you could use for the time being. So if I was to copy this and say account, uh, let's sign up for an account. Next, an email has been sent to this email itself. And let's see, oh, here you go, hotpot.ai. And in here, I could just sign into hotpot.ai. And there we go, login successful. And now I have an account with a temporary email. What's crazy cool about this temp email is even if I close the entire browser, which I'm not gonna do right now, it still retains it because of the cookie. So it still retains this email for you. And in order for you to change it again, all you have to do is click change email address and it'll issue a new one for you. So this website I actually use a lot for like new stuff, like say New York Times or something like that. They always require emails to subscribe so you can finish reading the document. Just generate a fake one so I don't get all the spam email from there. All right, next up, what I found is an interesting website is Just Watch. Justwatch.com is a website that allows you to search for any show that you're trying to watch and it'll find the streaming service that you need to watch it on or has it on. So if I go to say, I've been watching 911 recently and this show is actually pretty interesting. And if I want to watch the whole season and everything, I could just search it here and it'll tell me it's actually on Hulu or Fabo. So those are the two sites that I could actually stream it on. So this way I don't have to start digging. So if you've got any movies that you're interested in watching, like a very old movie or something like that, um, let's say uh, Night Rider, uh, the old one, 1982, who has it? Uh, all these places have it. And if you wanted to buy it, you could actually buy it on Amazon or Google Play, but DirecTV has it, uh, USA, NBC. What about the new one? So this is basically what I do anytime that I need to look for a show or a movie. I go to this website and find out. All right. Next up, we have a Z Library. And Z Library is a, 
amazing place to look for books. Uh, this is pretty popular already, so you guys might know this. But if you are looking for any type of book, say like um, Python. Okay, let's just, just do Python. And I'm looking for learn Python in one day. Click here. And I automatically download the format that I want, either Mobi or PDF. And there we go. Save the file and I have the book that I want to read. So I've been using this website quite some time just for looking up specific books, if they're good or not. And honestly, if I look at it and I do like the book and stuff like that, I will actually go out and buy a copy. That's why I actually have like a ton of these books. It's just because I like the fact of the actual hardcover and supporting the writer itself. But this is a good location to pull up. It's like almost a demo for me, like, you know, a demo game to see if you like the game, something similar to that. Next up, we have My 90s TV. Now, I grew up in the 90s. I love all the TV back then. I have watched The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air all the way up to cartoons and everything. And this website allows you to do all that. So basically, what you could do is uh, select the category that you want. So say I'm going to do cartoons. And if I hit power, it will actually find the channel for me, the cartoon that I want to watch in that decade. And then I can change the channels and it'll switch it up to something else. And then if I hit power again, it'll just turn it off. But you have all these categories to choose from. And now he also has my 70s TV and my 80s TV, which is very interesting. Anyway, that's it for my top five list so far of websites you should know. If you guys have, again, any websites that are really cool like this, hit it down in the comments below or hit me up on Discord and I want to check it out. This way I could just grow my library of bookmarks. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.